Hello and welcome. My name is Aaron and thanks for swinging by the Auto Trading Channel. This is Trade Station Thursdays and today it's episode 3. Our main focus here at Auto Trading is to dive deep into the code of automated trading strategies and today I'm going to show you how to turn an indicator into a strategy. So without further ado, let's dive into it. Okay, and so the way that we are going to turn a indicator into a strategy on TradeStation is very similar to TradingView. We don't need to worry about that first paragraph, uh, but we do need to have, we need to add the order execution paragraph at the ending of our code. And then we need to go in and remove uh, any plots and any alerts because TradeStation doesn't allow you to have a indicator strategy combined like TradingView does. Uh, TradeStation requires you to separate it out. And so the plots and the alerts and the things that indicators do, we need to get rid of. Okay, so we're going to come down here and open up a new workstation. Let's pull up a chart. We've got trusty Tesla. Expand that. I'm gonna go up to apps and easy language. All right, as you can see, I have a couple things pulled up. This is kind of the base of all the code that we need to create our custom strategy. So here's our Stokes D indicator and that is the MACD and the stochastic. So we have a MACD, let me put these in order. We have a MACD long entry strategy, a MACD short entry strategy, then we have the stochastic long entry strategy, and the stochastic slow uh, entry strategy. So we have all the code that we need. So we're gonna do file, we wanna create new strategy. New stoked. D. Oh yeah, um, if you do an exclamation mark in front of your name, it will put it at the top of your list. Stoke D strat. And then templates, this will auto generate your um, auto execution, the paragraph uh, worth of code. And so if you just wanna buy the next bar market, or sell the next bar market, this will auto generate it. So I'm gonna go and click on this just so you guys can see it. There we go, we have our Stoke D Strat. All right, so these are some helpful instructions on what to do, but really the code that it gave us is this right here. And so this is the most simple uh, order execution paragraph for buying the next bar of the market. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Let's come to our indicator, Stoke D indicator, kind of put everything, probably alphabetized it. We're going to control A, control C, come back to our strat. I'm going to paste that in here. Let's go to the top. Let's change this to strat. Let's see. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. We want to take out any alerts and any plots. So an uh, easy way to do that, do control F and do plot. Here's our first set of plots. I'm going to do the curly brackets here. And here's an alert, has a plot in there. That's taken out, let's see, find next. Here's the stochastic plots. Okay. So all of our plots should be there and search for alert. Okay, all of our alerts, yeah, are taken out. Okay, so now we want the order entry paragraph from these four strategies. So this is MACD long. Let's get the other long. Here's the stochastic long entry. 
And then here, short entries. Actually, we are going to, what am I doing? Here we go. Because we're going to combine them. And then the MACD short entry. Copy that, and then we need the stochastics short entry. Copy that. Okay, let's look at this. So we have MACD by stochastic by MACD cell and stochastic cell. So we're going to combine these together. And what I want to do is take this part of the stochastic, crosses over zero, paste it in there, make sure to give a space, then, okay, I'm gonna delete that, and then this is the part of the stochastic short entry that I want to bring in. This is our stoked D long, and our stoke D short. I'm just kidding. I thought that was pretty funny. Bring that together. I'm going to verify this and see. Okay. Looks good. We got rid of the plots, we got rid of the alerts, and we combined the MACD and the stochastic by the MACD and the stochastic cell very well. And so now let's go back to the chart. All right, so we can get to the strategies from either up here, add strategy, or right click on the black area, studies, add strategy. Since we put the exclamation mark, it alphabetizes it to the top. I don't know if I just made up that word, but it sounded really good. Uh, and that way we don't have to scroll down to the S's. Everything that we create can be up here at the top where we verified it in the easy language um, editor. And so it's showing that it's ready. It's also showing us that it has buy entries and it has short entries. And so let's click on that and let's click OK. Let's see status good on, on, and we want to do OK. So initially you might not see anything, uh, everything verified. And so we know that it should be working. And so let's just kind of poke around and see. Here's a one minute chart, nothing on the five. Okay, we need more data for that one. <clears throat> okay, on the daily, we can see that we have a short entry, which would have been a pretty good short entry. Okay, we don't have a long entry yet. So let's see this stock, let's do the NASDAQ. I think that's considered an index. There we have a short. Mm -hmm. Let's try futures at yes, would be our S&P. E mini SP 500. Let's do time frame. Actually, let me do here. I'm right clicking. I'm going to go to data, uh, strategy performance report. Okay, we're not showing much right there. Let's do five minute. We're showing some short trades for the five minute. And okay, hey, here's a long. It just hasn't closed yet. So we do have a long entry and we have a short entry. Okay, there we go. Let's drill down to the one minute and right click and click on data, strategy performance report. We do have long trades. We don't have any short trades. All right, I want to show you something um, that I found out over the last few years of doing this. And what that is, is that all stocks, all cryptocurrencies, all indexes, all futures, all foreign exchanges, they all kind of seem to have their own little nuances. And 
after seeing this and hearing successful traders talk about it, I think people tend to focus on just a handful of instruments to trade. And that's because they do. They see tendencies in a stock, you know, around earnings to always do, um, you know, always do well or not do well. And they'll, you know, a double top for Tesla or, or Amazon, you know, always typically, you know, more times than not will do something will come down or whatever. And I've also noticed in the same way with indicators and strategies, sometimes it seems like going against the kind of established knowledge of what an indicator uh, should do um, is really beneficial. And so let's pull up our easy language again, right? The first thing I wanna show you, actually, I wanna get rid of this current bar. I do feel like for strategies, that's just adding extra um, that we don't need. But then coming over here, you know, this oversold, that's 20 on stochastics. Well, my strategy might say, okay, I want it to be greater than the oversold. I want to see some momentum in it, right? And then on my overbought, I want that to be less than uh, on my short. And so let's do that and let's verify so our MACD entry stayed the same but we changed our stochastic entry okay now we're showing some long trades and they're still wrong <laughs> but now let's come in here and let's try something different I'm gonna take the order entry rule for my short and I'm gonna put it up here in my long I'm going to take my order entry for my long. I'm going to put it down here in my short. I'm going to verify that. Let me get rid of this. And as you can see, there's so these blue bars that means profitable trade, red means um, not profitable. It was a losing trade. As you can see, there's quite a bit more action. On the chart now let's go to the data strategy performance report and there you go I'm not saying to trade this I'm not you know this worked well in the last what two days whatever this pulled but just by changing the parameters we still have the same data coming in but it's like hey I want you to trade differently than what the typical indicator or strategy might call for so we just flipped some things around. And for the last two days, this shows that it was profitable. Uh, especially on the short trades, we've been in a little bit of a pullback right now. And so that might be why. But even the long trades, they were overall profitable. So there you have it, my fellow automates. And that is how to turn an indicator into a strategy in TradeStation. Next week, in both trading view and trade station we're going to look into changing some of the parameters of our newly formed strategy we'll also dive a bit deeper into trading view strategy tester and trade stations strategy performance report now with all that being said to whomever whenever and however this finds you i hope that it finds you well and i hope to see you again soon